Howdy, howdy, fellow YouTube. That is Mr. Z. Bunch of numbers here. Uh, I got a little bit of a loose collection update for you guys. Um, today I was out shopping for my school stuff. I'm getting some clothes and junk to get ready for school and uh, head on out. So since I was in the area of my local flea market, I stopped by and I was quite pleasantly surprised that uh, my favorite seller that uh, sells older cars, not the newer ones that are in the package, the one that sells older ones had marked his cars down from five dollars to two dollars and uh... because he has a case full of cars that are a little bit older like eighties nineties and some of the seventies cars and, and uh... red lines so anyways he had those marked down to two dollars so these are the cars i picked up today for uh... two dollars a piece and one of them is actually fifty cents so anyways i'll give it the fifty cent one first the first one is this eighty two toyota supra with the black walls it does have its nicks and scratches and it's definitely been played with but it's a pretty decent example of a black wall Toyota Supra I've definitely been looking to get one of these I'm still hoping to get the black version that I think has the hot ones wheels but um I really like this one and for 50 cents I figured why not it's a pretty cool little black wall and this is an example perfect of the hot ones wheels very cool looking kind of you know realistic type wheels with the shiny black walls this is a flat out 442 really dig this car racer stock car style with the STP stickers bell racing helmets and can't really tell what I think it says Western something but yeah it's got some interesting looking stickers louvered rear window and a hood scoop yeah really cool looking Oldsmobile 80s Hot Wheel also got this Matchbox Lesney Superfast Mercury Fire Chief uh, collector number 59 or 73. So yeah, really cool looking Lesney Fire Chief. It's got a uh, if you look closely, you can see there's actually passenger and a driver in this Fire Chief cruiser. So if you wanted, you can be your woo -woo 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 have your uh, little Fire Chief run around to the uh, imaginary crime scenes or fires in your play sets. So yeah, it's a pretty cool little Lesney to pick up for two bucks. The next one I got is this Black Wall Ramblin' Wrecker. It's got its uh, typical scratches, a little bit of play wear, but the base is really shiny and clean. The Black Wall wheels are really clean, and it's also got this uh, rear tow hook on there, which most of the times these get ripped off. So that's the reason why I figured this was worth the two bucks to uh, have it and it's complete and it looks you know pretty fresh and a good example and it does actually tow if I uh, can get this hooked up on here it does actually tow if I can let's see see it actually tows so yeah, you can use it as a towing car if you desire or you can just use it in display and you know have it on a display like that which is pretty cool and then the last three are some beater red lines that I got for two bucks got this uh, custom Thunderbird I think it is. Custom T-Bird, patented in, uh, by Mattel in 1967. It's got the open suspension bottom. Uh, not the shiniest, but it does have used, played with wheels, and is in, you know, really played with condition. But um, it's obviously been repainted in an enamel green. Now the plan with this one is, is to obviously get it restored at some point in time. Um, it, I was, it looks like it honestly, before it was repainted, the paint must have been in pretty good condition because the rear taillights aren't all chipped up. So that would lead me to believe that the paint itself was actually pretty decent before it uh, was repainted. But it is missing the hood. So this is definitely a later uh, restoration candidate. Or it's another candidate for my uh, junkyard diorama that I hope to do with uh, some of my beaters that I've been getting. So yeah, I got this kind of like a sea green... Um, custom Thunderbird and I don't know if you'll be able to see it but if you look closely at the base of the windshield you can actually see the original color of the car which is like that sea green like my Barracuda let me show you real quick kind of like that color if you can tell but yeah it's kind of that color for this one too so it would be interesting to get it restored so I got that for two bucks I also got this pink or uh, Magenta, I can't really tell because of the toning, but it could be a pink one or a uh, magenta split in image. You know, it's it's in played with rough condition, but still pretty cool for two bucks. Also got this uh, Hot Wheels Heavyweights fire truck. 
and um, it's obviously missing the trailer but the red lines are in pretty nice shape the windshield's cracked obviously but um I'm hoping that someday I'll find the trailer for it but it's got a really shiny base and the wheels roll really good so I thought why not for two bucks it's a pretty cool looking red line so yep that was my loose hauls I hope y'all enjoyed and um ah, I wish you guys luck hunting I know that Flying Monkey's been bringing a whole heck of a lot of luck to the Z team and uh Hopefully some of that rubs off on you guys and you can have some pretty cool loose finds yourselves. So anyways, thanks for watching. I hope you all enjoy. Peace and do my next update.